Hello everybody, welcome on into Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Hope you're enjoying the series so far as we've been going through the whole game. This is a 100% playthrough. We'll be doing everything in the game, including the map and achievements and side quests and ostracas, you name it, we're doing it. Um, if you're um, brand new to the channel, check up the top right corner of the video, you'll see there's a little white check mark. Just click on that and I'll take you straight back to series. And please do like, comment and subscribe. Let's get into this. Thank you so much for joining me. Here we go. Let's go there. Is it, is it the DLC or still have the main game? We're still doing the main game, buddy, but we have started a tiny bit of DLC. We started some DLC up here by accident, so we will be heading back up here in the future, but this is DLC. These symbols are DLC. Annoyingly, the DLC in this game, some of it anyway, is spread out in the open world and you can end up doing it without noticing, pretty much. So, it's a bit awkward. But yeah, so we're still doing base game at the moment. We're still doing base game. We're actually going to go see Daddy soon, because he's down here somewhere on the volcano. He's on a volcano somewhere, if I remember right. Not this one. Not that one. It's the big one. It's this one. Yeah, this one. He's here. Somewhere. Oh no, he's not there. That's something we have to do. Hang on, let me uh, check my quest. That's just kill ships. That's the DLC, DLC, DLC. Let's been talk to. That's me. We're not going to see her. We want to go see here. So he's in. Uh, information your real father. He's on. He's in a position of the volcanic islands, Calderas Fate on the Isle of Thera, Manoan ruins. So Isle of Thera. So we need to find Thera. Oh, I was right. It's here. Yes, here. Okay, there you go. We're gonna go see who our real daddy is, pretty much. Alrighty, this is spoilers, buddy, so feel free to head out if you don't want to see any of these, buddy. I'm in the right place, but where the hell is he? There's the camp. So this is how we open the door, I'm guessing. You're back at the mirror door. Yeah, yeah. Apparently this is our father or something to do with him. I'll well, continue my research in the manure. I found a red spoken doorway after so some translation. Oh, so I need to open. Oh, so this is how I open the door. Okay, okay. I know how to do this, I think. Where was the. Fo oh, oh, now we actually have beams. I've technically already started it. <laughs> hey, 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 look at me. How clever am I? I think I might have actually done some of it already. Oh, fucker off, kitty. Where are you? Ow. There we go. Right. So that one's already shining over to there. That's shining to there. That's shining to there. There, 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 and down to there. So we need to go ahead and down there. I hear these cats are annoying. So I have already been here before, folks, and done a lot of these positions already. We discovered this in a previous episode, and we just weren't sure how it works, but we already figured out that it was a main mission. Right, so I need to go in here and line up the mirror. There we go. Okay. Well, I'm guessing I need to move this back. Move that one forward. This looks to be in the right position. That's changed to that one. Okay.
I like these type of puzzles, they're really cool. Alright, okay, so this one obviously needs this thing moved. I have a feeling I'm going to have to move this at some point. Might as well just move it now. Alright. There. That should work. Now to try the door. Boom. Boom. Hell yeah, we done it! That wasn't too bad. Finally, now find what lies with me. Interesting. Here. Oh, is my father dead? I'm a bit confused. Okay. It's hot in here. I should watch my step. Yeah, we will. My dad hit these or something. Take a dive. Gateway to the lost city. Holy shit. Uh. 
the fuck is going on here? <laughs> this place is huge. There's nothing valuable in here. Almost. Hell is that? That's cool. Hello? Who the hell are you? Is my dad Zeus? Icarus! Greetings, Cassandra. Welcome to Atlantis. Oh! Atlantis? Impossible! I thought it was just a myth. There are many secrets in this world that are hidden behind myth and legend. And who are you? My name is Pythagoras. I'm your father. I'll be done. Pythagoras. That doesn't make any sense. He died <coughs> decades ago. Yes, almost a century if memory serves. And yet, <coughs> here I am, standing before you. And Icarus is... My oldest and dearest friend. I sent him to watch over you. And now, here you are. Mirini, my mother, she sent me here to find you. Mirini, she sent you here because she knew this was your destiny. My destiny? There's more at stake than any one mind can comprehend. Why was I sent here? What's my role in all of this? I want answers. There is knowledge in this place. Powerful knowledge. In the wrong hands, its secrets could bring about the downfall of humanity. We cannot allow others to discover this place. We must find a way to see it from the world forever. I don't understand any of this. I'm a warrior, not a scholar. We all have a purpose, Cassandra. Yours was to help me protect the secrets of Atlantis. That's cool. You're right. We must save the Greek world from itself. Above all things, trust yourself. You're capable of greatness. I'll do my best. The answers I seek are behind these mechanisms. They are sealed, and the artifacts to open them are missing. So, I need to find the artifacts and return them to Atlantis. I've collected information that hints at where these artifacts may be located. However, they are incredibly powerful. They corrupt the minds of lesser people and possess Is a will the to apples? defend themselves. I'll bring them back. But I still have questions for you. And I have answers. Because I have multiple now, apples. Take this. It's part of a key to access an artifact that is hidden in Viotia. I have an ally trying to find the second half as we speak. Okay, this is trippy as hell. Atlantis. Let me check your vitals. You're delirious. We've been searching for an Isu artifact with reality bending powers, and this bothers you? <sighs> Pythagoras was born around 570 BCE. That would make the man in that cave nearly 150 years old. What could possibly be keeping him alive? The staff of Hermes Trismegistus. Mrs. San, you were right. I'll help you pack up the gear. Thanks. Let's roll out. Apparently we're leaving. <laughs> I like this new sort of verge into the new world. That is really cool. I've 
reached the coordinates. The series of caves we detected should be right under me. My equipment's ready. Preparing oh, to I'm dive. in the real world. Layla, you have no idea what's down there. There could be sharks. I prefer that to Templars. We'll keep an eye out for Obstava. Good luck, Layla. Thanks. I'm heading down now. This there is has actually to be a cool. Way in. I'll find it. There. That must be the way in. Are you all still reading me? It's awfully quiet on comms. We hear you, Layla. Thanks. It's just so silent down here. You're not alone, Layla. We're monitoring your progress. You're doing fine. Yeah, we're here if you need us. Set us something sitting at the desk. Well, I don't have to be in a boat to be useful. <laughs> I have loads of information on ancient Greece. Did you know that at Zakros, the Minoans built a graveyard so huge it was known as the Ravine of the Dead? Can we please not talk about death? Elena, promise me that if I die down here, you'll rename this place the Caves of the Dead. I'm on it. People! I'm gonna miss the London Loft. I really like the view. Miss it? Why can't you go back? Didn't you read Kyoshi's report? Abstergo's already swept through it. It's compromised. No, I've been busy researching Theta. Kyoshi, are you alright? Of course. After clearing out the last of her gear, I observed the infiltration from a distance. Did they pick up the present I left? Yes, they found the USB key you dropped under the desk. Nice tactic. No one at Abstergo will be stupid enough to stick that in a computer. They don't have to. Holy it's a crap. shell holding one of my special RFID transmitters. Get it anywhere near a workstation, like say, cool. in the head of security's office, and boom. Impressive. All in a day's hack. Wow. It's more elaborate than I could have imagined. How did they build all this? What I wouldn't pay for an ISU toolbox. That's true. Like, how the hell did they build this? It's like alien or something. I still feel aliens or something had a say in this. I know the ancient ones were advanced, but I didn't. This I don't is think different from each. They got this crazy. Some aesthetic elements in common, but. Mm -hmm. I should get out of this diving suit before I start exploring. to Altair 2? I'm in. Do you have visuals? Yes! By the gods, Layla, it's Atlantis! How are you feeling? Any nausea from the pressure change? No, I'm fine. These rooms are... amazing. <clears throat> think, Layla, think. There must be a way. Something has to power up this place. I'm re-entering the Animus. I need Cassandra to show me how she got farther inside. I know there's not much time, but I need answers. I imagine you have many questions. I have questions about my family. The sentimental and emotional connections formed between people have always irked me. I knew Mirini would fail to stay detached. 
Why did you come here and leave my mother and me in Sparta? I was never going to raise you. Our duty was to continue our ancient bloodline and ensure there was someone strong enough to do what was necessary when the time came. You could have brought us here with you. And you would have been unprepared. <coughs> if you've been here all these years, how did you meet my mother? We're both descendants of the people who built this place just like you. We knew that we had an obligation to preserve our lineage. That's when you agreed to make me. In a manner of speaking, yes. Wow. Why is the cult hunting it's a product of it an ancient civilization. <laughs> So they want our blood? You have a destiny, my child, to destroy the cult and their influence on the Greek world. You threaten everything they have striven for because you have the power to oppose them. They've tried to destroy me and failed, and they'll never control me. That's all I wanted to know. I want to know more about the... There isn't enough time for me to explain. You call it Atlantis, but what exactly is this place? I believe it was a city long ago. A place where beings of great knowledge and power lived before humankind had built even its first primitive settlements. Mm. It was perhaps some kind of library where the ancient ones stored information. Makes sense. Oh, this place is like a tomb. How did you live down here and for so long? This artifact, like your spear, possesses incredible power. It has given me life, so that I may continue to learn from this place. What have you been studying here? Everything. The first civilization's history, their culture, their science. With it, we can change humanity's destiny and usher in an age of enlightenment. Destiny is something only the gods can alter. They were gods, living, breathing gods. Mm. I've heard enough. What do I do with <coughs> artifacts? Just place them in their corresponding steelies, and the path to answers will illuminate. Okay. I should go. Yes, there is much to do. Bring back the artifacts quickly. The longer we wait, the greater the risk of Atlantis being discovered. So, what if I already have one? I do! <laughs> I think I have them all! Was it difficult to find this artifact? I just had to keep my eye on it. <laughs> so that must have been, um. That that must have been the artifact for Medusa, I'm guessing. Or one of the Cyclops, one or the other. Call me Alethea. I am truth in its revelation, and I am calling you out. You, Ethu, who try to rewrite the laws of the universe. You who manipulate human progress. What do you hope to achieve? You treat humans as useful apes. How many artifacts have you created to control their minds? Do you fear their potential that much? Ah, that's a good point. Just look at what humans have achieved on their own. Democracy and diplomacy. A legacy of culture and art. We could share in this if you just treat them as equals. In your desperate search for immortality, you've ignored the obvious. You run endless simulations to find one in which nothing changes. It's pointless. Change will come. And not just the so-called end of the world you fear. You call yourself saviors, but tell me. Would this doomsday have appeared had you not pulled on the threads of the universe in the first place? Good point. Taking over your retransmissions. You don't speak for all of us anymore. I am as Isu as you, but I will no longer be part of your exploitation. Those who came before, they speak to us and show us revelations. Though these words of disapproval are troubling. The 
gods have argued before. But the nine Poseidon competed for Athens. I wonder if Alithia won control of this place. Hmm. Well, let's find out, shall we? I need... I need to find the artifact that fits here. So I haven't got this one. Interesting. One more. I have this one. I have this one. Hurry. This artifact will help <laughs> us close off the temple. You're nearly as stubborn as its former owner. to try to help you. I'm sorry if it's confusing. We ease you see various pasts and futures, and I know you'll be here more than once. My fellow precursors set endless challenges in your path. Artifacts, creatures. Don't get me started on the Olympus project. Their meddling got out of hand. I have no easy answers for you. Your future depends on a multitude of choices you have to make for yourself. I'm sorry if so many of them end in pain. Your playwright's tragedies are your real oracle. But please, don't give up. You are more important than you can imagine. And like your own Pandora, I have one thing left to offer you. Hope. Despair is not our only legacy. You're like me, a rebel against your destiny. You're not just a mercenary. You're a hero for the ages. Hold fast to what you know is true, and you will overcome. Mm. Claim your place in history. All that is terrible and beautiful in this world is your birthright. Take it. She can see the future. Many futures. Can this be a true oracle? This place holds the answers to humankind's salvation, I'm sure of it. Mm. You have more questions. I don't have any answers for me. That's fine. I should go. Yes, there is much to do. Bring back the artifacts quickly. The longer we wait, the greater the risk of Atlantis being discovered. Okay, this one now, I guess. Well done. This artifact will bring us closer to sea. It nearly brought me closer to my tombstone. <laughs> Oh, his is the last one. 
shit. As hard as it may be, it's time to pass it on. It's someone else's turn to balance the equations. No. No. Lies. This is not obsession. This is research. Do I have to kill him? Discovery of the very origins of the world. It is an opinion, Pythagoras. Though one with reason behind it, I believe. You have more questions. Well, yeah, you have the I last artifact. Yes, there is much to do. Bring back the artifacts quickly. The longer we wait, the greater the risk of Atlantis being discovered. Hey, you have the last what? I, I need to find the artifact that fits here. Okay, maybe not. But I feel like I did them all. There's one. Two. Oh wait, that one's still... Oh, have I not picked it up? Maybe I didn't pick it up. Weird. Yes. Inspect my flesh closely, mortal. Before you stands Empedocles, a true god. I've already done yes. this, but apparently. Inspect oh. my flesh closely, mortal. Before you stands Empedocles, a true god. Yes. Inspect my flesh closely, mortal. Uh. Before you stands Empedocles, a true god. I've already killed him. <laughs> Interesting. Very interesting. I've killed him, I've killed I killed um the Minotaur as well. Maybe I have to do this one again? Because they all have the same symbol. I'm a little confused.
That's the Minotaur, but we killed him already. Unless our brother has one. The watch will be vigilant here. I don't think I can re-enter this place because I've already done it. Yeah. Hmm. Huh. Maybe we can't do it yet. Maybe we have to find the fourth artifact, which I'm guessing our brother has because it was Medusa, the Minotaur, the two... Oh yeah, see they have blue symbols. Unless I... Unless my spear is the final artifact. That could be the case. Yeah. It could be the case that my spear is the final artifact and I have to level it to the final stage to use it as an artifact, maybe. Let me just check my inventory. Because we had three Apple of Edens, but we haven't found a fourth. And we've got a piece of the medallion, we need to find another piece. Because we don't have any of the apples anymore, they're gone. Ah, it's very interesting, okay. Right, so... I'm presuming we can't do that yet. So I'd say we continue with our story. One artifact is Boe... Boe Otia. Hey, thank you so much for the follow there! The Panda! How you doing? Welcome on in. Where is Boe Otia? Oh, is that that new place? I bet you that's that place that's here we have to travel to. There's nowhere on the map. I oh, know it's here, boy, it's here. Ah. I wonder. I wonder if it's in. It must be the brother. It has to be. I guess we're going to fight the brother somewhere in this place. Bet you that's what it is. Because there's no boss fights in Boyotia. There's no like creatures or that we have to kill. Unless it's just not available yet, that could be the case. Okay. Alright, so let's go talk to Marion then. Oh, we haven't done that yet, Return to Theodidus. Where is that? Because we discovered all the temples that you needed. It would be great if it showed me where Theodidus was. I have not a clue. We have a mission here that we need to grab, so let's head there.
hello. Excuse me, what the hell? So now they have people watch us get punished. That's a different kind of shame. I'm not here to watch. I just saw you by chance. What you saw was a man who paid <coughs> his master for freedom, but is being kept a slave. You can do that? My master gave me a price for my freedom, and I saved until I had enough. Now that I've given him the drachmi, he pretends as if the deal never existed. Wow. That is sleazy. That isn't right. Let me talk to him for you. Really? You do that? My name is Phaedon. I don't know who you are, but surely you were sent by the gods. They yeah, must you have could heard say that. prayers. They did, and you deserve their help. I can sense something in you. You're special. I like to think so. Gods or not, I'm grateful. My master should be near the silver mine. He's likely overseeing other slaves like myself. Have you always been a slave? Since my youth. I was in the wrong place and born to the wrong family. I've been sold more than once. And you just now got enough to buy your freedom. That's more not. like I found a master who was willing to give me that sort of deal. I should have known he'd lie. It was my only hope and now it's gone. Okay. Do you often get whipped like that? More than you know. What did you do? I don't always know. Not working fast enough, looking at someone wrong, asking for water. Sometimes they do it just for fun. I'm not sure how much more I can take. I'll talk to your master and make sure he listens. He's not really the listening type. He will be with me. <laughs> right, where is that quest? This one. Up there. You look strong. I could always use more people to keep the slaves in line if you're looking for work. I'm already working. I'm here about one of your slaves, Fedon. As if I know their names. You're wasting my time. I shouldn't even need to be here. You're the one wasting my time. Ha! <laughs> Nobody has spoken to me like that in quite a while. Spit it out while you're still entertaining. Fedon paid you for his freedom. Give it to him. Hmm. Doesn't sound familiar, but I'm feeling generous. Do something for me, and I'll give this faith on his freedom. What is it? There's a woman I'd like you to kill. It'll leave her family to fend for themselves, but the cult of Cosmos needs it done. You're I'm a not doing it. Cult? If that's true, then you know who I am. You're smarter than they make you out to be, Eagle Baron. Tell me why I shouldn't just kill you now. You could. Of course, if I'm killed, the slave stays that way. And I'm the only one who knows where his papers are. Why does this woman need to die? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize you needed to know that. Wait, you don't. Fedon said you already broke your promise once. This better not be another of those times. Look around. I have plenty of slaves. In exchange for the woman's death, I can let one go. Most people prefer to keep their cult status a secret. You can't do a thing about it if you want to help whatever his name is. Also, it adds a bit more fun to the situation, don't you think? Thank you so much for the follow, player one. I hope you're doing well. Welcome on in. I'll be on my way. Kill the woman or not, it's your choice. But if you want your slave friend to go free, it's the only way. One person's freedom is another's demise. Can I not just kill him and get the paperwork? I'm pretty sure I could find it. Cassandra! What chance that we should meet here? 
It doesn't really feel like chance. Ah, so you wish for today's topic to be about fate. No, <laughs> I like not this really. Guy. Good, because I had another in mind. Attica is large, yet fate keeps bringing us together. Ah, you're trying to bring us back to fate once again. I won't let you avoid answering my questions, though. So how much did you overhear? Oh, all of it. You have a difficult choice to make, clearly. How much is the freedom of one person worth? Do you believe one life is worth more than another? Hi, welcome on in. How are you doing? People are uh, people are equal. There's no 100%. difference between one person and another. We all take our first breath the same way. But are the breaths you take equal to my own? Would you not say? It's good. I'm enjoying it. I'm on, I'm, we're, we've basically finished the map and we're currently doing the the base game and DLC. We're trying to get through the story now, pretty much. A breath are equal, 100%. Which two people you compare. <clears throat> the answer is the same. So, a uh, thief is equal to a priest, a uh, politician to a child. An interesting view. Okay. I think I've said enough. Ah, you're, you're right. I know you are busy and your mind is weary. That does sound like me. Go now. It's been an honor having these conversations with you. You too, Socrates. Okay, return to sleep, master. What is it? I'm not going to kill someone so you'll free Fedon when he should have been already. Fine. I'll find someone else to kill her, and Fedon will remain my slave. I'll be sure he receives a grand reward for wasting so much of my time. Anyway. <laughs> Deal with that. <laughs> you won't be making trouble anymore. If a farmer steals a fruit today but gives some of his crop to the poor tomorrow. Hey! Hey! Help me! You are free, be free. The fates have brought you to me, Mistios. Thank you. There we go. Okay, that was an interesting mission. I'm gonna be honest. Didn't think that was gonna end like that, but I guess it did. I wasn't killing somebody for him, I can tell you that much. Right, talk to Miriam and Gethiona. Where is that? In this direction, apparently. Which way is it to me then now? I'm facing that way, it's 5,000 meters in that direction. Oh, it's down here. Oh, bloody hell, isn't it half? Levels, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, we have been... We have been pushing the levels, to be honest. Really pushing them. As I say, like, that's... We've cleared the map. So the map is cleared. We've done everything that's possible on the map. We've basically cleared the whole map. And now we're pushing the storyline basically. So we're doing the storyline, any sort of DLC stuff, we're working on all that kind of stuff. That's how we're going. Have you played the game yourself by any chance? I'm here, I'm here. Lab, you made it. I trust the seas were favorable. Poseidon might be the only one not trying to kill me. And did you go Currently to playing it right now too. Nice, nice. How far are you in the game? I did. You enjoying it? What did he tell you? <clears throat> Obsessed. It's good. It really is. It's good. He told me what needs to be done. Yeah. yeah. He told me where I'm from. And where I must go. So now you know the truth. I'm not his daughter. I'm just a weapon. That is the furthest thing from the truth. You were brought into this world with love. I never imagined we'd stand on Spartan soil together again. That's good as to much be as I cursed this place for what it did to us, it feels more like home than Kefalonia ever did. Sparta is our home. But we'll have to rid ourselves of the puppet king if we are ever to find peace. 
Whatever happened to our old house? Nicolaos stayed after I left, but now that he's gone, I don't know. Why don't we go find out? Of course. But first, there's something I want to show you. Oh, um, um. Right, did anyone else see her running backwards forward? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a weird punk. <laughs> oh, we're going for a ride. Come on, flame boy, let's go. Come on. Wait, can we go now? Yeah, why not? Come on. Before all the mysterious start coming. No matter how far I ran, I never could escape them. I know. On Naxos, I couldn't get them. It was as if I had locked Sparta in a box and tossed it in one of the sea. Did you put your memories of us in that box? I wanted to. But it would have taken all the wood in the land to build one. This is where I first trained you to use your spear. <laughs> Hesitation only hastens the grave. <laughs> you remembered. How do you think I got this far? <laughs> we had to pry that spear from your hand while you slept. You said you needed it to fight the monsters in your dreams. I couldn't face Cerberus empty-handed. <laughs> I like that. Those children will be ripped to shreds. We should help them. Cassandra, wait! <clears throat> you mustn't interfere. This is Spartan training territory. No, I'm gonna help. I can't I don't stand care. here doing nothing. I'm going to help them. Spartans need to learn that this is not how you train. Help! I can't feel my legs! <laughs> mother? I'm not your mother, but I'm sure she's proud of you. Tell her I'm sorry I yelled. I was angry. I didn't mean to. Oh shit, he died. He died with honor. His death was unnecessary. What are you doing here? I was passing by when the wolves attacked these boys. But they're Spartans in training, so I let them handle things on their own. She lies. She fought the wolves, clearly wanting glory for herself. You've interfered with Spartan law and lied about it. There's more honor in that dead boy's heart. You should return to where you came from. Are you all right? What happened? I couldn't just stand by and watch. The Ahuji is what turns boys into men and soldiers into Spartans. You have only made them weaker by interfering. What good are they to anyone if they're dead? Gala. Cassandra, please. This isn't Kefalonia, Naxos, or anywhere else. This is Sparta. And breaking Spartan law can get you killed. Believe Bring it. me, Mater. I know exactly <laughs> what breaking Spartan law gets you. Come. Let's go home. That training is ruthless. Not ruthless. <clears throat> Effective. The best of those boys will become Cryptia, keepers of the peace and stalkers in the night. Stalkers in the night? There's a reason Sparta never changes. It has rules and they are strict. Spartans rule Laconia, but most of its citizens are Elohims. peasants made to work in fields and mines. Slaves? Why don't they revolt? Spartan fields keep them fed, and Spartan warriors keep them safe. 
first from the Persians and now from the Athenians. When they forget their place, the Cryptia are ordered to keep the peace. I see. Most of us make great sacrifices for comfort. Most. Not all. This is the slowest journey ever through this place, I'm just saying. <laughs> place I ever felt safe. As soon as you were old enough to hold a spear, you trained in this yard from morning till night. Nicolaus was a tough teacher to please. He hid his pride from you. But every night he would tell me, she's going to bring glory to Sparta. Well, you might not want to um, know that he might be dead. <laughs> as much as I hate him for what he did, I wouldn't be who I am today without his training. My heart broke that day, <clears throat> but for the first time in ages, standing here with you, I truly believe it can mend again. Me too. Do you remember the first time you held your brother? I was scared I'd break him. I piled every blanket and pillow we had around me. Even then, you held him so tight, I thought you would squeeze the life out of him. He turned out stronger than we thought. The gods must be playing tricks on my eyes. Good to see you, Vrasidas. It's been a long time since I rescued you from the warehouse fire in Corinth. <laughs> That's not how I remember it. You look well, Vrasidas. The rumors were true. You're alive! Many we thought to be dead are still breathing. When I heard the two of you came home... We're in Sparta, but we're not home yet. We want our house back, Vrasidas. Your estate was taken by Sparta when news <coughs> of Nicolaus's death arrived. They're waiting for his adopted son to claim it, but he hasn't returned from the war. Stentor? I knew I should have killed him on the beach. What do we have to do to get it back? You'll need to negotiate your Spartan citizenship with the kings. It won't be easy. Why not? As happy as I am to see you, the kings won't be. Especially Achidamus. Your exit from Sparta wasn't exactly... Graceful. He can't still be mad I broke his nose. <laughs> you what? <laughs> In any case, he hasn't forgotten. But I have an idea that might help him forgive. Tell us. Spartan soldiers have been giving weapons to the Ilotes. Whoever takes care of these traitors will earn his thanks. Why on earth would Spartan soldiers be helping Ilotes? Ilotes greatly outnumber Spartan citizens, but they're leaderless. Mostly farmhands, servants, and apprentices. If someone unified them, armed them, and trained them, they'd be a real threat to Sparta. But you said it was Spartans who were arming them. All the more reason to deal with this quickly. You find out why the Ilotes are being armed, and you'll have the king's attention. Okay. Where will I find these Spartans? They were last spotted in the Gorani marble quarry, in the forest of Eurotas. <laughs> So, I find the soldiers. Then what? Spartans are loyal to their commander. Take him out, and the rest should disperse. And the weapons? Destroy them. The Elotes have caused enough trouble with shovels and sickles. The last thing Sparta needs right now is them carrying swords. Okay, I guess. So, to get our house back, I must take out the Spartan commander responsible for inciting a useless rebellion. Sounds easy enough. Find me in the throne room when it's done. And where will you be? This is where I raised you. It's also where Leonidas raised me. 
I'm going to visit his tomb just beyond the estate. You should pay your specs too before you get started. I'll try. Okay. Multiple quests accepted. do that one first. That is one hell of a two. Leonidas. <clears throat> he was Sparta's last true hero. We'd all be under the yoke of the Persian Empire if it wasn't for his courage. The same blood courses through your veins. So, our blood is the blood of kings. You are so much more than a mercenary. You carry the blood of heroes, blood of power. Remember what I told you? That people would try to take that power for themselves. And then you promised. I wouldn't let them. Hold out your spear. All of this talk of the Pythia, the Pythia, I do not care what she says. Enough! We have grown tired of your insolent tongue. Sparta will not go to war. The Pythia has spoken. Pythia says what you tell her to say. She has been your puppet for far too long. The time has come to cut her strings. Oh, Leonidas, the days of heroes are over. You think your blood makes you special? If we opened your veins, it would spill to the ground and disappear through the cracks. You are no one. You are more than welcome to find out. Your fate is sealed, son of the lion. Xerxes will unite us. He will bring order to chaos. Divide the Pythia and everyone you love. Everything you stand for will perish. Gather them then. My king? Xerxes wants Sparta. She'll have to go through me. <laughs> so that was the start of the war at 300. That's cool. Incredible! Now, do you understand? What must I do? It's time we embrace our destiny, both of us. If we don't stop the cult before it's too late, then all Leonidas fought and died for was for nothing. Our bloodline has reason to those who would enslave us. It's time we rise again. <laughs> well, well, well. Mother and daughter united in Sparta at last. And look at you. Goddesses among mortals. King Pavsanias. We're honored. I was sorry to hear about your father. Yes. Our fathers would have been proud to see us here today. You remember Cassandra, my king? Who could forget? The girl who died to save her brother. Such a tragedy. An innocent child put to death because of an ancient, merciless law. Oh. Ancient and merciless. Most Spartans live and die by these laws. But you sound more... progressive. And you sound like you've been rubbing elbows with Athenians. I've been to a symposium or two. <sighs> In any case, Sparta was weakened by losing you. Losing you both. We're examples of why these laws must change. Oh, I agree. 
but King Erchidamos, if he could carve Spartan law across the chest of every citizen, he would. Spartan laws destroyed my family. Spartan laws had me claw my way through the streets. We are here today because he defied those laws. He did, and he lost his head for it. But we're not here to talk about the dead, are we? We know Sparta reclaimed our house after what happened to my father in Megaris. We want it back. Mind your tongue, child. You may not live in Sparta anymore, but I'm still your king. We graciously request an audience with you and King Archidamos to discuss reinstating our citizenship and reclaiming our home. Of course. There is nothing I'd want more. Archidamos, however, still hasn't forgiven you for the whole nose incident. <laughs> what can we do oh, to sway him? There's rumor Kill of the Illot Rebellion <laughs> and the Kreptia are stalking the flames. Savagely killing Illots, stealing livestock, and leaving corpses to rot in the streets. The Kryptia represents Sparta's ultimate achievement in military training. Their discipline and fearlessness make Sparta's army the most feared in the world. Once. But the Kryptia have become corrupt and bloodthirsty. And training boys to kill unarmed peasants is nothing to be proud of. Do you want your home back or not? Good. So the Illots will no longer support the senseless slaughtering of their people. And where would I start looking for these Kryptia? One can be found in the fort on Zarak's point. Another was assigned to guard the Spartan leader's house. The third is more elusive. He was last seen in one of the villages west of Illot Hills. He's definitely the loudest of the three. Okay. My mother spoke of these Kryptia. What can you tell me about them? They are the hidden ones. Hand-picked at an early age, starved and trained in isolation. They must steal and kill to survive. If they succeed at their training, they become the king's guard. But why have me killed them? For years, the Kryptia kept the peace between the Illots and Spartans. Troublemakers and threats among the Illots were dealt with. But lately, these Kryptia have been killing men, women, and children without reason or mercy. Babies ripped from their mothers and fed to the wolves. The Kryptia have become a breeding ground for ruthless savages. Okay. Is there anything I should know about King Archidamos? Traditional, brutal, boring. Archidamos values the old ways over the welfare of his people. He sided with the elders that day on Mount Taietos. If killing Kryptia will get our home back, I'll do it. Okay. So Hilotus resort to right. If Archidamos believes in the old ways, won't killing his Kryptia create conflict between him and Pafsanias? I miss Kefalonia sometimes. Life was simple. <coughs> Even if Marcos was a bumbling idiot. <laughs> I like Marcos. I do hope he still enjoys it. Okie dokie folks, that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, feel free to like, comment and subscribe. Uh, take care of yourselves, have a wonderful day. Space Monkey loves you. Thank you so much for uh, coming along with me on this episode. And if you've been joining me for the whole series, thank you. And take care of yourselves. Bye -bye, bye everyone. Have a wonderful day, evening, night, wherever you are in the world. Space Monkey loves you. Catch you later.